Most people perceive Neanderthals to be ape-like, but let me assure you that that's not true. The misconception of Neanderthals being stooped, brutish, hairy and dumb comes primarily from our preconceived notions that was developed many many years ago. As time went by and many other fossils were discovered, this long-held belief that Neanderthals are hunched over brutes is proved wrong. Welcome to the channel guys and stay with us as we list some of the facts that tell us our closest relatives the Neanderthals were not as dumb as we thought. Before we begin, let us start with a brief introduction. Neanderthals came into existence more than 300,000 years ago until they became extinct with the advent of modern humans 28,000 years ago. The first human fossil assemblage described as Neanderthal was discovered in 1856 in the Feldhofer cave of the Neander Valley near Dusseldorf, Germany. That is how the name came up, Neander after the place it was discovered and Thal meaning valley in German. In 1908, the first nearly complete Neanderthal skull was found in a small cave in France near a town called the La Chapelle aux Sons. The bones were about 60,000 years old belonging to an adult male. The Neanderthals were originally dark-skinned but in time they grew lighter due to the exposure of climate change. Inhabiting Europe and southwestern to Central Asia during the Ice Age, they were the ones that endured the worst of weathers. They are the closest relatives of us, the modern humans, differing in DNA by just 0.0%. But although they are our close relative, their limp and torso proportions were very different from that of the modern humans. They were much shorter and thicker with longer hands and big flaring nostrils. Their build helped them to generate and retain body heat whereas the big nasal chambers helps them to warm and humidify the cold air they breathe. The average height of a male is 1.6 to 1.7 meters with an average weight of 78 kgs and that of a female is 1.5 to 1.6 meters weighing 66 kgs. Neanderthals had a brain size of 1500 cubic centimeters which is 11% larger than that of the modern humans. But even with the large size, Evidence suggests that the Neanderthal's brain may have not been wired to support effective communication and diplomatic skills. But they had culture. They had social systems and most importantly, they had intelligence. They were quite advanced. They buried their dead and even practiced adorning grave sites with flowers which is evident from the pollen found in one of the grave sites. The symbolic gesture of leaving flowers with the dead is in line with other behavior that reflects symbolic thinking by Neanderthals. No other primate and no other earlier human species practiced burying the dead. Culture is indicative of an intelligent species. They also built shelters, made clothing and created advanced tools. In fact, they were the first human species to make tools out of bones. They used these different tools for hunting and they even created and wore symbolic ornamental objects. Okay, that's about all the introduction we need. Now, the first point to prove that Neanderthals were not hunchback brutes is that an international team of scientists analyzed the skeleton of a Neanderthal man using CT scans and discovered the spine was straighter than that of modern day humans. The skeleton had a wider lower thorax and a horizontal shaped ribcage with a greater lung capacity, concluding they had a better posture than we speculated. There are several facts that have come to light in recent decades that has changed the old but persistent falsehoods about Neanderthals. Turns out they were the equals of modern humans in many ways. They were also artists. According to a study published in the journal Science, they made the earliest known cave art on Earth. Paintings were found in three Spanish caves that were created more than 64,000 years ago, long before modern humans arrived in Europe, which makes the Neanderthals the only possible candidates to have made them. 
Next is the ability to control fire. We aren't the only beings that could start fire regularly and use it. Neanderthals were skilled at this as well. They didn't only use fire to cook food, but they also used it to make needed materials. Coming to cooking, they were one species that did not need to gather food for sustenance. Why? That is because they were skilled hunters with the skills to coordinate attacks. Of all the reasons mentioned to show that Neanderthals were smart, the most important is that they had a sense of humanity. In fact, they were the ones that taught us humanity. The fossils of the elderly man found at La Chapelle or Sons in France, first found in 1908, which was mentioned earlier, revealed he had debilitating arthritis and no teeth. For the man to have lived many years with that kind of pain shows that his family cared for him into his later years and once he died, his articulated remains were carefully Moving to speech, while other older human species mostly grun in order to communicate with each other, Neanderthals did not. Studies beginning in the late 1980s of the fossils from the paleoanthropological site at Kabara, Israel of the hypoglossal canal which is one of the two small openings in the lower part of the skull and the hyoid bone which is located between the base of the tongue and the larynx suggested that the Neanderthal vocal tract could have been similar to that found in modern humans. This means they were anatomically capable of speech. Capable of speech. Like I said, they were skilled tool makers. Around 300,000 years ago, Neanderthals developed an innovative stone technology known as the Levallois technique, which involved making pre-shaped stone cores that could be finessed into a finished tool at a later time. This meant Neanderthals were free to travel away from sources of raw material and yet be able to make tools when needed. From all that I've mentioned, it is pretty evident that Neanderthals were not dumb but smart. They were crafty tool makers, quick to adapt to harsh conditions and clever and strong hunters. The more we study about Neanderthal life, the more we discover how alike we really are in many aspects. So these are no ape men. It's unfair to them that the word Neanderthal is used as an insult today. If you take success to be the ability to survive in hostile, changing environments, then Neanderthals were a great success. With all these evidences though that they can survive through thick and thin, the question arises why did they go extinct? One way of answering is maybe they were outpopulated by the modern humans. Neanderthals and modern humans may have had little direct interaction for tens of thousands of years until during one very cold period when modern humans spread into Europe. Their presence may have prevented Neanderthals from expanding back into areas they once loved so much. Another answer could be they were absorbed into the modern humans' larger population by mating with them. Most people of European or Asian descent do have at least 1-2% to of Neanderthal genes in their DNA. But in many ways, the last surviving Neanderthals are a mystery. Over just a few thousand years after modern humans moved into Europe, Neanderthals' numbers dwindled to extinction. But no one really knows the exact reason for their extinction and why we survived. Some scholars theorize that gradual or dramatic climate change led them to their demise, while others blame dietary deficiencies. All traces of Neanderthals disappeared by about 30,000 years ago. The most recently dated Neanderthal fossils come from small areas of Western Europe and Near East, which was likely where the last population of this early human species existed. So that is all about the Neanderthals. Hope you liked the video. Tell us what you thought of it in the comments section down below and also drop in your suggestions for our next video. For more videos related to human species, do check our channel and remember to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.